YouTube Shogun Shrub here with a review of the Arms Change Series and Lock Vehicle Series AC07 Kamen Rider Greedon and Dandeliner set. So this is a both an Arms Change Series release and a Lock Vehicle release in one. It is basically an Arms Change release because it's a, uh, AC07, so it's the seventh release of the Arms Change Series, which is technically the eighth because of the EX, but whatever. But it also has a Lock Vehicle in it, so they decided to pack them together. Maybe the Lock Vehicles didn't sell well, so they decided to chuck them together. I don't know what their thought process was. But that is what we got. So, uh, kind of elongated package here. We've got the... Uh, Dandeliner right there, the figure right there, uh, nothing too crazy. So let's take a quick look at Greedon first because he's probably why everyone bought this. So here is Greedon in his normal everyday outfit. It's a very deep brown. Uh, the figure art is very light brown, so depending on which color you like more, take your pick. But uh, considering Greedon's a retail release, he should be easier to get later on down the road uh, compared to the price of an exclusive figure art. But uh, pretty cool base body, the same as Baron's without the cool little swirly um, paint effects in his uh, legs, because his armor is quite a bit more plain. But uh, overall, very basic, but still very cool. Included is the Dongri Arms Acorn right here. It is basically a little miniature acorn. And the Donkashi, his little mallet hammer thing, which is really cool. I really dig it. It's neat. So without further ado, simply plop the acorn on his head. Make sure that the visor piece isn't uh, all jacked up in there, which it is because this is an arms change release. And that's how they work for me. Uh, plop that on his head, just like you would any other arms change release. That should be all nice and in there. So now he's got an acorn head. And uh, just kind of crack the shell these will fold down to make his chest pieces or his shoulder pads I do that every single time back will fold down flush against his back this part will swing up and uh, as you can see it doesn't work right because you have to slide that little joint up and then it'll fold in so there's a sliding mechanism right up in there so just slide it and uh, you should be good to go and here we have Kamen Rider Greedon Dongri Arms and I really love him I love Greedon um, I think he's gonna turn into a really interesting character down the line he's not quite at that stage yet but um, I, I really dig what he represents and um, I, I liked him better when I thought he was a coconut way back way back when uh, we didn't even know what his name was uh, the good old days <laughs> before uh, game started and everyone hated it because the gimmick was silly. But uh, he is really cool. He can hold the Donkachi right there and any other weapons, obviously, in his other hand. Um, posability wise the shoulder pads don't actually hinder too much because they can move so much. Um, and then swing back down because they do have quite a bit of opening space. So you should be pretty good to go in terms of um, posability. And like I said, these swing like all the way out, so... In fact, these clear for more than the posability of the actual figure. So, uh, the armor, despite being big and bulky, does not actually hinder anything on him whatsoever. So, overall, just a very, very cool release. And like we said before, he does include the Dandeliner. Lock Vehicle 3, uh, pretty simple, same as the others. It pops open. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and show it, but it does work in the Sengoku driver if you attach it. Um, it will break that and swing open. But that's all part of the transformation. So swing this around, swing this back, pull that out, swing the little handles out, and you have the Dandeliner. It is basically a speeder bike from Star Wars, uh, except a lock. So... That's its thing. Uh, no moving parts. It's very basic. Um, in fact, that might be a reason why it was packed with a figure, because this is so basic. I don't think anyone would have bought it on its own. Um, so any of the figures can pop squat and get on the dandeliner. Of course, with it being like a hover bike sort of thing, 
how are you supposed to sit on this comfortably? Like, this would just hurt always. Do you have the handle, Greed, on? I don't know. He doesn't have the handle. We can pretend he has the handle. So basically, they sit on here, grip the handle, kind of, and they're like, Vroosh. and they're like, Vroosh. and then he falls over because he got hit by Ryugan's grape gun or whatever. I don't know. But uh, it, it's all right. Um, I wouldn't have really minded if this was never actually made, um, even if it was in the show, just because I'm not a huge fan of the lock vehicles, but um, it, it's not an awful thing or anything, but um, given the fact that it has no stand and has no wheels, um, it's really hard to actually pose a figure on it while on the ground. You basically need to levitate it in order to get the right effect. So, uh, that's that. However, it does have a kind of cool secondary feature. Um, if we get this going, that doesn't have to be brought out, but Basically, if you kind of bring this around, it makes it look like a big gun. So you can take Greed on and basically turn him into the biggest mass murderer ever. So kind of like this, except better posed, because I'm awful at posing toys. Uh, but it basically can turn the Dandeliner into a big laser cannon, kind of like Zolda's weapon uh, from Kamen Rider Ryuki. So I think that's a kind of neat secondary feature for this thing. It's not official by any means, and it's just because it kind of looks like one. Uh, but I like the idea that the Dandeliner can be a big laser cannon, because that just seems really cool to me. So he comes with a giant laser cannon to lock cannon 01 Danda cannon. Yeah. So overall, Greedon is a nice little addition to the arms change lineup, and the Dandeliner is an okay addition to the lock vehicle lineup. Um, I would have preferred Greedon just to be a normal release without the Dandeliner, but I guess they really did want to make a toy of it because it was in the show, and this was a decent way of doing it to make sure that everyone was forced into buying it. Um, now, because he does pack with a lock vehicle, it is a little bit more expensive than the other sets by about, I think maybe a thousand yen or so. Um, so it's not a huge step up, but it's enough to kind of be annoying for people who are on a strict budget. But uh, that being said, the set is nice. Green on is a great figure. The Dungri arms make a nice little uh, mix and match to all of your previous arms change figures. Um, and if you haven't been collecting lock vehicles, the Dandeliner makes a wicked cool cannon. So just pretend it's a cannon and not a vehicle and you're good to go you don't need to get the bike still so uh overall a great set hopefully he it does become easier to find down the line i know he's really hard to find at the time of this recording so good luck to any who are still searching fantastic figure and i hope everyone can get one that wants one thanks for watching take care and have a great one bye